we are living in a world of innovations and inventions which are changing our life in a fast pace the chemistry of materials is an exciting and challenging field in the development of science and has always played a dominant role in the evolution of human civilization the areas like aerospace defense automotive and industrial branches demand on more advanced and innovative materials this quest of scientific world has led to the development of a new generation of materials scientific innovation is a machine or device or a scientific technique which either helps or completely solves human problems that he or she faces in his daily life usage of smart materials instead of all the conventional mechanism helps us to simplify devices and reduces the chance of failure scientists develop these materials and these new materials that do certain jobs better than the existing materials or are easily or cheaper to make we the chemistry fellows by applying various external factors to the existing materials or redesigning or create new materials with new properties so the materials could be so smart now we got to see what are smart materials in this present discussion we discuss four aspects what are smart materials why they are called smart materials how they become smart and what are the uses of their smartness smart materials are also called as intelligent materials or they are also called as responsive materials they are specially designed materials they have one or more properties that can be significantly changed in a controlled fashion of external stimuli now we have to define smart materials so smart materials so intelligent or responsive materials are designed materials that have one or more properties that can be significantly changed in a controlled fashion by external stimuli such as stress moisture electric or magnetic field light temperature ph or even by chemical composition that means smart materials can change their inherent properties by the application of an external stimuli this external stimuli could be either stress temperature or electrical field or magnetic field or light energy even the ph could be changed their smartness now just see why they are called smart materials the reason is very simple their response properties are see s4 significant and m4 measurable and a4 accurate r repetitive and the results are time oriented now we have to classify the smart materials the smart materials are classified into different types depending upon their external stimuli properties as well as their external properties now we have pcu electric crystals their input is deformation we just give deformation stress or strain and the output is their potential difference another type of smart material is electrostrictive materials here the input is potential difference and they undergoes deformation that means the shape of the material could be changed then is magnetostrictive materials the input quite naturally is magnetic field and again the deformation for the material occurs then thermoelectric materials and we know that is temperature dependent and potential difference is the output then shape memory alloy is fast developing area the temperature is the input and deformation is their output or result another type of smart materials are photochromic materials the radiation light radiations or visible radiations fall on them and their color changes and finally we have thermochromics their temperature is the input and the color change is different now we have to see how they become smart taking few types of compound we explain how they become smart for example i take pcu electric materials as we know pcu electric materials are materials that produce voltage when a stress is applied by planned structures that means by the chemical combinations or by planning we can make these particular materials to bend expand or contract shape when an voltage is applied that means the shape of the material will be changed by applying the external stimuli like bend expand or contract or when an voltage is applied another is magnetostrictive materials as the name itself it induces these materials can change their shape or dimension in response to a magnetic field 
This property could be used for the smartness of those materials. Then another type of material is electrochromic materials. As the name implies, electrochromic materials are smart materials and that can change their optical properties with the application of an electrical voltage. Now, the smartness depends upon the amount of light they are allowed to pass through them. So, electrochromic materials have the property of a change, evocation or bleaching of color as affected either by an electron transfer, that means the dog's process, or by sufficient electrochemical potential. Now see that particular slide, you can see, see when the slide is transparent, when I applying an electric field, it becomes opaque. So electrochemical materials can be used for glare reduction, energy conversion and even in camelonic fabrics. Now we see another example is halochromic materials. Halochromic materials is the material which changes its color when the pH occurs. That means we have acidic pH and we have basic pH. So when we apply the pH, the color change of the halochromic substance occurs. This is because when the chemical reaction occurs, existing hydrogen and hydroxide ion in solution undergo different chemical combinations. Such bonds result in changes in the conjugated system of the molecule or the range of electron could be flowed. This alters the wavelength of the light absorbed which in turn result in a visible change of color. Now we see thermochromic materials. As the name implies, thermochromic materials change reversibly their color by a temperature change. The color transition is due to a change in the crystalline phase and structure. Thermochromic materials are generally organic leucodi mixtures. They are composed of color former, the color developer and the solvent. By seeing these materials, we have gone through the brief aspect of smart materials. My dear students, the world is still developing fast and we have many more materials to come and it may take us easily to interplanetary world as we now move in the continents.